What's up YouTube? Lowtech here, doing a quick tutorial on how to map a controller in RetroArch for your Nintendo Switch. So if you're not familiar with RetroArch, this video is for you, especially when mapping your controllers. Um, it tends to, out of the box, can be problematic. There is usually never a controller that will be 100% out of the box. There are some, but most of the time you got to tweak it or your preference doesn't align with the default that it goes to. So either way, you'll want to know how to map your controls. Similar in all versions of RetroArch, a couple of different settings you want to change that's potentially specific to the Switch's version of the RetroArch. So let's go into settings. You go to input. You want to go down port one controls. So you should be set to device type retro pad with analog. You want this next one analog to digital type. You want that set to none. If you leave it on this or this, a lot of your games that require the thumbstick will not work. Um, the previous video I did, I was having that issue. Couldn't figure it out, so I was posting it on YouTube, discussing it and the potential issues that you may have as a new user. But I discovered with playing around that setting it to none solved the problem completely. So you want to go down to set all controls. And you got B button, your Y button, select, start, up, down, left, right on your D-pad, A button, X button, shoulder, right shoulder, L2, R2. Push down for L3, push down for R3, left, analog, right, left, down, up, same over here, right, left, down, up, and you want to save this profile. Once that's done, you can load your core. Once the core is loaded, play your game. We're going to go with Mario 64. And by the way, you actually can come in here and run the game without loading the core. First, it will load the core. So I'm going to go straight into a, state, a save state. And thumbstick works perfectly. as before in this game and many others thumbstick would not work with that one setting. So you can also go in this quick menu and if you don't like the controls specifically on Nintendo 64 you can also map port 1 for this core specifically. So you can go in here change where the buttons are and then you can save this core remap file so it'll be a specific to this core and once you come out of this, it will go to your default that we did in the settings earlier. And you can do that for every core. So I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on the mapping. If you have any comments, questions, please leave them in the comments section. And please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.